Hi everybody, Jared here from ppccampaigngenerator.com, sharing another Excel tool with you. A while ago I made a negative keyword finding tool, and then it wasn't so good, but then I got an email from someone saying that they modified my, my Excel tool, and I was like, oh cool, can I see it? And they never responded back, so that pissed me off. And so I made a new tool. This one's a lot more advanced, much more improved. And let me show you how it works. So essentially, I started out with the idea that what if you could assign a value to every word within your keyword and then sum those values up to determine whether or not that keyword has a probability of converting. And so that's what this tool will do. And it comes with steps here. So step one, run a search query report. You take that data and you remove the columns except for cost and conversion and obviously search keywords. So this is a fake search query report. I calculated these in Excel. These are not real numbers at all. And then what you do is you clean the queries. This is optional, but it's recommended because a lot of times your search query reports will have a lot of garbage in them. And so you just paste them in here and then your outputted keywords get put here. So you can see the difference between one half with a slash in it, bathroom model ideas with an asterisk and then parentheses. It's cleaned. And you can add any other characters you want to strip out if you identify them. It's a pretty simple formula. And so let me just show you what we're going to do. We're going to copy this keyword list paste it in the clean queries tab that's going to clean our queries and so now I'll take this, I'll copy that go to this dummy data tab and I'm going to paste as special and you'll want to use values and there we go so now the next step is to take this information and pivot the data so we're going to use a pivot table to do that go up to insert in Excel pivot table pivot table and then we'll just say put it here and then hit OK and we just check these boxes and now we get the total sum of cost and conversion for each keyword so now that we have that information what I like to do is just copy it then I'll just come over here and I'll paste as special again values okay and then I'll just select all these columns remove it and we'll, we'll just call this row labels we'll call it search query and then sum of we'll remove sum of just to make it simple to understand so we have cost conversion and search query now I'll copy this data, make sure there's no total row, okay? And you'll notice first, um, let me just prove to you that there are no duplicates in this list, and that's important. We will remove duplicates, do it by search query, and no duplicates are found. So we have the cost for each unique keyword. Now what I'll do is I'll go to this Evaluate tab, I will paste it in here, and then what I'll do is I'll take this keyword list, I'll come over to the Get Density tab, paste it in column A, hit the Find Density button, and that's going to give me a breakdown of my keyword list. So my initial idea was, well, if I have all words within this keyword list, what is the value of each word? So then you come into here and you paste that in the lookup value. I call it F1, but you can just think of it as one word phrases. And so now we have it in our lookup value. And what this means is the word kitchen is associated with $221,000 in cost from this keyword list. And it's converted 6,873 times. So that means that this keyword might or might not be important. We don't know yet. Let's and you notice this weight. That's assigning a value to this particular word. So if it's found within this keyword list, it's saying 
this is how you should weight this keyword. So what you do is you just copy this formula down. If you have a lot of keywords here, it might take a few minutes, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Um, we're going to, and this is actually a lot faster than my previous tool. So we're going to let it run here and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, it's done running. And now you'll see we have a weight assigned to each word. And now we're go what we're going to do is look at every keyword and sum up those weights right here for all the words in the keyword. So I'm going to copy this formula down. And this formula is crazy. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't try and figure it out, but it's basically trying to find the weight. Um, and it sums up whether or not it's a one word, two word, three word, four word, five word, six word, or seven word phrase. If it's longer than seven words or if it contains a number, this doesn't work. Um, but you can see most of them do have weights. So now what I'll do is a last step is paste as special again. I have a button up here. And then what we first do is remove, let's filter, remove everything that has contains number or is seven greater than seven words. I'll just remove them. And now we're left with our results. So we have our keyword list and these are actual raw search queries. So what we're doing now is just simply sorting by results. Largest to smallest. Largest would be the best performing keywords that this program thinks. And so you'll notice that the, a lot of the keywords have kitchen in them. That's because kitchen probably has a high weighted value. And it's probably associated with keywords that have converted quite a few times. And remember, this is dummy data. This would look a lot more convincing if it was real actual search queries. But anything that's positive, a positive weight, means that you'd probably want to consider either adding it or keeping it in your account. You'll scroll down and you'll find keywords that actually have negative weights. Those keywords have a low probability of being good converters. And in fact, you might find keywords in here that you'll definitely want to add as a negative. So in our situation, this keyword, coriander recipes, is the worst keyword um, possible and we might say it has $68 in cost associated with this um, keyword and it has not converted ever. So we might think of adding it as a negative. So that's kind of how this tool works. You can download it at ppccampaigngenerator.com. Thanks a lot.